Hey guys, James here and welcome back to my garage. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about sharing my lifelong love of cars with you guys. If you've been watching videos on my channel and you've been liking what you've been seeing, don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button. It means a lot to me and my growing little channel and uh, the YouTube algorithm also appreciates your input. Now today I wanna to talk about Aptera. What is Aptera and why I think it's an absolute tipping point or a turning point in the history of the automobile. Behind those science fiction or science project looks is a really, really important point. The fact that the Aptera is the first car that promises to be powered solely by the sun, get that, only by the sun for a normal person's daily use. So the company that's producing this, Aptera, is calling it the first solar electric vehicle, or SEV, which is distinguishable from BEVs, which are battery electric vehicles, or all the other EV types that are out there. This is the first SEV. So let's get right to it. Why do I think that Aptera is a total game changer in the EV market? Well, the basic problem of EVs for so many people out there who want to get into an EV is the fact that you have to have a garage or a driveway where you can charge the car. If you just street park, for example, it makes it totally impractical to own and operate an EV. And that's why it's so significant that the Aptera can actually run solely on solar power for the vast majority of people's uses. So let's break down how the Aptera has managed this. To solve this problem, Aptera, the company, has kind of worked backwards. They're like, okay, well, let's think about it. If you can't park in a garage or in a proprietary driveway, well, that means you're parking outside. So what is the most available source of energy out there? Well, it's the sun. But it's well known that solar panels don't generate enough energy to run a normal car. So the solution, they figured, was to make the vehicle so efficient that solar power alone could actually provide the energy that the car would need to operate on a daily basis. And that is the key to the Aptera and what makes it so revolutionary. It's efficient to the point where you don't actually need to charge it ever, which means you can park it outside. A normal EV, like let's say a Tesla Model 3, can travel about three or four miles per kilowatt hour of energy. The Aptera, on the other hand, promises about nine or 10 miles per kilowatt hour. That is a staggering threefold increase. How do they do it? Well, let's start with the lightweight. The Aptera is made of a composite material that's sort of made of steel and aluminum, and that, they figure, is strong enough and light enough without having to resort to carbon fiber, which is expensive. Between using this composite material and 3D printing to simplify and lighten the components, that's how they achieve such a remarkably light weight for the vehicle. There's also less rolling resistance. This is an auto cycle. There are three wheels instead of the usual four, and that reduces rolling resistance. And of course, aerodynamics. The Aptera comes in with a coefficient of drag of just 0.13. A Prius is almost double that at 0.25. And Aptera loves advertising on YouTube and social media that the entire vehicle is more aerodynamic than the mirror of a Ford F-150. With this insane efficiency coming from the lightweight, the lower rolling resistance, and the crazy good aerodynamics, we can actually achieve nine to 10 miles per kilowatt hour of battery power. And what that enables is that the Aptera can actually go up to a thousand miles on a single charge if you get like the, the premium battery pack. Lightness has other benefits as well. In its standard front wheel drive form, the Aptera can hit 60 miles an hour in 5.5 seconds. And with all wheel drive, which in this case is three wheel drive, it can actually reach 60 miles an hour in 3.5 seconds, insane. So all of that is super awesome, right? You have this lightweight, you have this like hyper efficiency, you have the fact that it's so efficient that you, can, you never have to charge it. Sounds like the dream commuter car, right? Well, not so fast. Because the Aptera is positioned as a commuter, like everyday vehicle, we also have to think about safety. The Aptera is an auto cycle, which is exempt from a whole bunch of safety requirements. What is kind of weird to me is that auto cycles, which are three wheeled vehicles, are less stable than normal four wheeled cars, and yet they have less stringent safety requirements than normal cars. I don't understand that. In the case of a motorcycle, you in a crash, you detach from the vehicle, right? You fall off, which means that you know it doesn't really make sense to add like airbags and things to the motorcycle. 
but in an auto cycle like a Polaris Slingshot or a Vanderhall Venice, you're still in the vehicle. And yet, the state doesn't require all the safety uh, features that a normal four-wheeled car has. But Aptera is smart. They know that owners are gonna want to be able to use this vehicle as their normal everyday vehicle. And a big part of that is that people are gonna wanna feel safe. So the company has promised that they're gonna engineer their vehicle up to the standards of a normal car's safety regulations. And that's no small feat for a small company like Aptera, but hey, they say they're gonna do it. And we'll see what happens when they start actually crash testing these things. Honestly, I think Aptera is gonna set a new trend if they can pull off the safety thing. What I love most about Aptera is how logical their thinking seems to be. The company thought to themselves, well, how do we make EVs more accessible, more democratized for people? Well, let's make it so that you don't have to charge in a garage or driveway. Okay, how do we do that? Well, let's use solar panels. How do we make solar panels, you know, produce enough energy to actually run the car? Well, let's make the car ultra efficient. How do we do that? Well, let's make the car really light and let's make it an auto cycle so there's less rolling resistance. What happens if we do that? Well, then people have concerns about safety, but let's also address that by making it as safe as a normal passenger car. They've really thought that chain through and that's what I love about it. So I, for one, am super excited about Aptera and whether or not I get one, probably will, it's gonna make a huge splash in the automotive industry. As long as they can figure out the safety, they're golden. I really appreciate you sticking around until the end of this video and listening to my rantings and ravings about this science project looking car uh, that's coming out soon. But uh, if you liked this video, hit the like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button. As I'm growing this little itty bitty channel, I really appreciate every new subscribe, every like on a, on a video. Um, um, it really means a lot to me and it encourages me to keep going. My name is James and I will see you in the next video.